New York State and city officials launching a new crackdown on so-called ghost cars. So these are vehicles that have forged or altered license plates, making them virtually untraceable by traffic cameras and toll readers. Fox News Morgan McKay has more on the steps being taken to get these cars off the streets. The Ghostbusters have arrived, and these Ghostbusters are hunting what the city and states are calling ghost cars. We're putting the blade brakes on ghost plates. Ghost plates are fake or paper license plates, making these cars untraceable for traffic or toll cameras. And now Governor Kathy Hochul, Mayor Eric Adams, and MTA Chair Jana Lieber announcing the launch of one of the largest multi-agency city and state task forces dedicated to identifying and confiscating these ghost cars. This task force started on Monday, and authorities say they impounded 73 cars, issued 282 summonses, and arrested eight people. The MTA and NYPD releasing video of some of these arrests. There's a body of people who have made up their minds that they think that they can skate the law, and it's not going to happen, uh, as well as they want to evade accountability for serious uh, actions that they use in these ghost vehicles, such as shootings, robberies, and hit and runs. Now, all these cars around me were confiscated on Monday. This car behind me right here was confiscated because it had illegal plates, which meant the driver wasn't paying their tolls. Some people are fixing pieces of tape uh, to, to obscure one of the letters or to alter it. So if, if you have like a P, they're putting a piece of tape that makes it look like a B or a six. The NYPD commissioner says that right now this task force will operate once a month, but they are hoping to eventually ramp it up to every other week. It just started yesterday. We're going to do it monthly. But hopefully during the summer months, we see more vehicles out there, more mopeds. Governor Hochul is also proposing legislation that would increase the fines and penalties of those driving with ghost plates and those who sell covers that hide the license plates. Reporting from the RFK Bridge, I'm Morgan Mackay, Fox 5 News.